That's a thing on the to-do list. Yeah, yeah, play it out. We'll, we'll, we'll get what we can get. There we go. So starting it off. Patient neutral. Both of which understand that errant buttons will be punished inside of this. And I think this sort of game kind of favors Karen at this point. Like... I think Mika like, always has a chance, regardless of who she's playing against. Yeah, I'm just saying, like a heavy neutral game, is where Karen sort of like that, uh, that. That's what you want, like out of that. Might even favor Sigal, just like as a player, being very patient and whatnot. Because uh, Speaks is going to be Jones in to get in. Mm -hmm. Highly, like very aggressive player. He's doing a good job staying patient, though. Yeah. And it's that sort of thing, like where like these two. Ooh, there we go. Like Karen's reversal. Sweet, very hard to punish. Yeah, keeps him in the corner too. Very important. There's the grab. Now you know that's being thrown. There's the counter hit. Where's the call coming up? There we are. Hmm. DP's out, but then gets that blocked and in. First round to Mika. Round two. Point. There we go. Slow start as it is. Ooh, there we go. Gets the first attack in, gets the bar on that. Really looking forward to uh, to what's happening there. There we go. Jumps. Understands the positioning. Really slow and patient play that's actually being uh, put on here. So we see now Speaks kind of wins by finding these ways in and doing like all this sort of damage that Mika's available to. How, how do you think, like, Karen is supposed to, like, leverage her advantage up against, like, Mika that kind of has these sort of moves that are kind of so good for, like, countering any sort of, I mean, mm, I guess, like, forward movement into her? Karen can play very passive or very aggressive. She's really strong in, in the face of Mika. Um, there's not much Mika can do on Wake Up aside from Super or the, uh, the EX. I don't even know what the move is called. Lariat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so personally, if I was Karen, I'd want to rush in with uh, standing shorts, but... Oof. Yeah, but it seems play like... Uh, yeah, it seems like two sweeps is definitely going to get you in uh, also. Ooh, doesn't actually get a punish off of that. Nice air-to-air -air jumping short. Ooh, good read. It. Nice connect on the overhead. Gets the kick through. And oh, now sees risky. the HP lead and just kind of backs up. Oh... No mix-up available. Mm -mm. Gives him the spinner. Final attack. Oh, perfect, perfect KO. KO. Strong showing coming back on that. And that's Seagal going up one. Cutting wins. Cutting wins. No mix-up. The no mix-up mix-up? Yeah. Super Round counters one. all mix-ups. Mm -hmm. We got Toffee. Toffee wants to get on mic soon. You got nothing to do, Toph? You want to sit down? What's that? Yeah, I am. Uh, there we go. There's the sweep. Toffee's taking a break from Street Fighter V. Are you taking a break from five? Yeah. How are you liking... Uh, I guess I should look at this game here. Reversal coming back, back around the there. Trying to get himself out of the corner, which is a difficult uh, case. Ducks the grab. Gets grabbed for his own effort. There we go. There's the shoulder check. And then has that DP just to make sure that there's no offense coming in. Ooh, but speaks. Back coming in up corner. against the corner. He has that wall, but finds that one jab. He was mashing it. Round two. Point. All right. It's actually a really good anti-air. Puts you into a low profile and then also uh, puts up your hitbox, like the hitbox there. Yeah, so. yeah. Real nice. That sweep is punishable, but oh my Speed's god, just to press dropping the, button. the kicks. Uh, yeah, this is the thing. This is this is more of like the men. This is so much more of a mental uh, match because Seagal is just just pressing the like the same button over and over again. It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same scenario that keeps presenting itself, and that's bound to be some level of frustrating. 
Oh, there we go. Super. Nothing that's going to clean, but it's going to do Equalizes a lot of it. damage. Karen yeah. still got both the trigger and super. That's exactly though. that. Equalization. So he's going to look for a random poke into activation, I think. There we go. Or just, yeah. yeah. There we go. Going to be chipping Save. away at that health. Oh, that's a good punish. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, but hit for tat coming on right here and then actually goes all the way through and that is Seagal taking it there figuring out when to be uh, nice and patient about the whole issue that's going on and uh, clearing out hmm who's next uh, beats me I would or we can, or you can grab Buck or like any of the uh, any of the other people. I'm on stream now. Yeah, yeah get on. All right, right. I'm, oh, I'm playing fours. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, lose to Cammy and then no, probably not be back. But no, that why? You gotta win. Ooh. All right. Yo 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 yo. When people All are good. making noises, you don't All keep good. moving. We are good. Is this my water still? Mm, mm, yes. Uh. Huh. Rough match. I, I'm just so free to carrying. Like, it's not You, you weren't for a lot, for like a good time of that. No, I know, but it was just because. You were doing good yeah. stuff. And then Seagal was like, oh, yeah, I'm not fighting yeah. Mika. I'm fighting Speed. I'm just going to push medium kick. I'm just going to push. I know. You, you, like, you crumpled to, like, the same button being pressed into you multiple times. Oh, and I have no idea why. Yeah. I'm it just happens. Like, hmm. I don't know. It's just strange that, like, I see that happening. But, yeah, you're holding that. So we got Forrest and oh, Gwai. And Gwai. Um... Forced a uh, multiple time DTR champion in yep. both Street Fighter V and Tekken. Mm -hmm. uh, that's our weekly that we have at the Blurry Pixel every Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. um, if anybody's you know watching this and you know they're interested in watching more of our weeklies, uh, you can follow or subscribe or whatever to this channel, and you'll be able to you know you'll be able to see us every oh, Wednesday yeah, night. 100%. Uh, we broadcast you know 7 p.m. usually. Mm -hmm. um, we'll 7 p.m. Street uh, Fighter V and Tekken one week, Marvel the other week, maybe. That's tentative for now. Yeah, that, uh, that seems to be the schedule that we're running with right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you want to actually uh, join in on the tournaments, that's uh, they're going to be happening in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Yep, not Ottawa, Texas. In Queen Street. Yep, Queen Street. Um, real close to the Parliament buildings and whatnot, so a 95 will get you really close to there, so pretty much like right in the hub of the city. Um, and, yeah, as long as we have... Eight people before uh, before tourney time. Um, those those off-brand cords don't actually connect, even though it looks like they are. You need a real cord. That's why it's not connecting. Just with the with the quick tech that I know, oh, yeah. because I've seen many PS4 cords. Uh, those off-brand ones that he's using right there, um, mm -hmm. they've got this big turtleneck on them, right. and that prevents it from actually plugging in to the micro USB. I don't know why oh. they're sold. Like I, I bought one of them, well, and it doesn't sold, it doesn't work on anything. They they get bought. Yeah, true. Yeah, I remember actually one time buying uh, dollar store batteries mm -hmm. that were called Dynacell batteries. Okay. I legit would have to, like, to get through, like, because this is back in the Walkman era, uh, just to get through, like, a full disc, I had to go through, like, 16. Can you pass me in my bag? Sorry, I'm listening. Yeah, um, I'm just going to see if we have a micro USB so I can uh, get this man a controller. Watch the cord. Someone here must have a micro USB. No, it's not the pad, it's the cord. Ah, speak stones. See what's happening. Um, I do not have a micro USB. There must be another pad player somewhere. There are a bunch all over the place. Ask among the casuals. Yeah, just give me a second. Casual setups. Yo, can we get a micro USB real quick? Anybody with a micro USB? Micro USB? Yeah. Well, no, but it's the cord from my man. There you go. Thank you. We have, we have located a micro USB. Found that. 
and got it. Watch, he's gonna plug it in and it's gonna connect right, right away. Boop, boop. And it's gonna beep boop boop and we got it. We got it. Oh. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> I was just, like, oh, he doesn't want the bottle near the stuff. And I'm like, that's sensible. Here we go. It's uh, it's Shen's over there. No, over there. Over there. There we go. So now, finally, allowing people to input their buttons. Mm -hmm. Now that we've figured out the Kinda micro important. USB problems. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. What would y'all do without me? You guys would have sat there trying five different controllers, being like, oh, what's I going on? Have. Well, no. But. That'd be like, mm, doesn't work. I would have been a hard ass. And just, up, oh, doesn't work. <laughs> <play."> DQ. <laughs> the axe. <laughs> Brought a controller, doesn't work. DQ. DQ. Bro, didn't connect, didn't disconnect your controller. DQ. DQ. Oh, buddy, I am DQing the first person that doesn't disconnect your <laughs> controller. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, going back to Urian. Okay, now Gwai was playing around with Nikali. Uh, last DTR. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last Nikali is definitely his best. But um, mm. I think no, no, it definitely is. Like uh, I've played sets with him online. He's told me that he feels the most confident with his Nikali. Okay. Um, I just don't think that's that's maybe the maybe there's here. something that he knows more about Urian versus Cami that why he decided to I go. I think it's just more like the available buttons because the projectile does a lot for just like covering the air that the area that like Cami really wants mm -hmm. to kind of like dominate with the hooligan and what like and whatnot. But these drill kicks pushing uh, pushing Urian back. I'm surprised there's no punish on that for like a B reversal. Ooh. There we go. Gets the... There we go. Tries to hit him with the hooligan combo, gets jabbed out of the air. Uh, look oh, for him to go, go to that as an option a lot. Uh, drops the combo off the EX headbutt there. Yeah, and like a lot of his like EX moves, they come out so fast they're able to actually challenge like the hooligans that are going to be coming in. There Ooh, we go. Anti -air. Awesome use of that down fierce. In order Ooh. to anti air, tries to go for the kicks, drops it off the Aegis combo. Blocks it, gets got. And that is a key juncture in this game because yes. he bet it all by using that super at the end of the round. And now he goes into this next round, no meter, while Guai is sitting on two bars, yep. about to get his third. Ooh, rolls through there. And this sort of pressure is not what Guai wants to see, especially when you get the head, the EX headbutt blocked. Mm -hmm. uh, good job from Forrest, though, reading the EX wake up headbutt. Mm -hmm. Ooh, just throwing out those sweeps and just just getting getting the hand, the Urian chop. Yeah. And he's, Urian's really, okay, now Urian's on B trigger. There it is. You're going to have to deal with those blocks. Gets the throw oh tech. Oh, my goodness. Throw tech right in there. Mm -hmm. Now getting punished for the uh, for the EX there. Up against the wall. Oh. I know what he was trying so to mix go up? for there, but. Pushes a button after the knees. Risky, yeah. but. Oh. Good Aaron neutral jump. jump. Doesn't actually get punished, and and the trade yeah, does the not trade. go his way. Forrest takes a sire lead. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now Forrest starting off with the uh, with the more meter, nearly on three bars. Good job. Not pushing a button after Ooh. that V skill. The tricks and stuff. And the critical art will hit there. Mm -hmm. Okay. There Ooh. we go. Does oh. not do the throw hooligan that time. I really bit. thought that's what was coming out. Yeah, and a little bit of a strange anti-air to uh, get her out of the hooligan. There we go. EX, uh, EX charge. And he's Ooh, really okay. on point. Because he could have had the option to actually put it a little bit further out for, like, pressure options, but instead mm -hmm. moves with a defensive Aegis uh, Reflector to actually keep Cammy out of that uh, out of the uh, offensive push that was going to come in. There's V-Reversal. And, and there's, there's the grab pool again. And it's too bad he wasn't able to set up shop there because he was honestly one Aegis Reflector super combo from really evening the odds oh, yeah. and, and maybe making Forrest, uh, you know, not not just gainfully jump in there with those hooligans, right? Yeah. That's all it takes. And it was not a, uh, not a surefire thing either way, even though, uh, I mean, like, like the, the surefire bet is on Forrest because of, like, the record he's been running right now. But... Um, and quick stun. Yeah, um, and you see, and this is the sort of thing that uh, got him those tournament winnings. There's the headbutt, pushing him out of there. And that whole sequence came because Guai opened with Fireball, and he v-skilled through it. Yeah, 
And like that's the sort of thing that you got to be really worried about when it mm -hmm. comes to Cammy, um, because her pressure brings a lot of damage with it, and a lot of sort of mix-ups too. Ooh, Alex not to open with a fireball this time. So when the V skill came, he was not in recovery frame. So he was actually able to do something about it. Neutral jump didn't get much out of it. Ate a combo the other way. Doesn't punish the errant V skill. Mm -hmm. But now he's going to throw setup. So what's he going to do to get in here? Uh, probably expect the tackle coming in. That's not going to hit. That yep. hits. Oh my goodness. And a quick 2-0 for Forrest. Yep. That's how it comes through. Guai going to go sit somewhere and think about what he's done. So. Uh, from All right. there. Yeah, I'm getting off. I've been doing a lot of casting. I need a, yep. I need a break. Yeah, go get some electrolytes. Um, oh. If you end up uh, near a place that sells those pumpkin drinks, uh, I'd like one. Yo, are you going to go get some Lunchables, though? <laughs> Yo, can we get some FGC Lunchables, though, my man? What up, stream? What up, stream? We're just uh, looking at the screen while Forrest goes to disconnect his controller. This has been a common screen for us. Uh, yes. Uh, a li lately, a meme in the scene is that uh, Metagame actually eats controllers when people yeah. do not sign out. I've heard that. Yes, with his mouth. Yeah, like knife and fork. Yeah, no, no, 100%. Like, uh, He's classy about it. His favorite components are actually the touchpads. Uh, he'll just eat those in one bite like they were California rolls. Fries them off. Yeah. <laughs> snap, snap. And uh, he's uh, not been living up to his Mellow Meta name a lot lately. He's been, um, he's been very testy lately. You think so? Uh, he, he doesn't react to things going wrong very well, and a lot has gone wrong. Uh, I don't Should know if you were here for the beginning today? of the... Yeah. I don't know if you were here for the beginning of the Street Fighter stream. But we actually looked at a white screen for, honest to goodness, the better part of 18 minutes. Yeah, it's long. It was it was a very long time. Uh, we went from a bunch of viewers down to like eight, um, just because they didn't want to look at a white screen, which is understandable. Well, I don't know how many we have now because I cannot see the chat, but probably like 300, right? No, uh, yeah, I would imagine probably somewhere around there. Yeah, I mean, 400 maybe. Street Fighter Five just ended at uh, Red Bull Battlegrounds uh, oh. in Toronto. Solomon ended up winning that. Right, good for him. Um, so Solid player. They are just starting MBCI. So hopefully, a lot of the people that want to watch some Street Fighter Five are going to tune into our stream. So yeah, they're all know. obviously welcome. Yeah, you know, we'll see what up to them. Uh, Meta game going through and deleting <laughs> every <laughs> controller from the memory. Because for some reason, people do not delete their controllers. So I'm not really sure what camera angle we're on right now. Are we looking at this? Let me find out what I we're looking at. Oh, no, yeah. Take a quick peek there. Oh, uh, we, got, we got caster cam and blue screen of death cam. Oh, that's, well, you know, a good combo. Yeah, no, so, so they see you out here looking good in the camo. I uh, mean, I think fleece is going to be the next thing. 100%. It's coming back. It's on its way back. Legit. We're all going to be shopping at the Gap. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, Kanye West's first job was at the Gap. Well, maybe not first job, but his job yeah. before he was Kanye West. Well, there's a reason he left, right? <laughs> <laughs> True. Bigger and better things. I don't see Yeezys at the Gap. I'm just saying. Yo, okay, facts. Man, actually, fun fact. Um, one of my sister's friends, her mom, uh, houses, like, exchange students. So she was housing right. an exchange student from Shanghai. Shanghai. And they kept, like, leaving... And, you know, going places. And one day, they spent... And we live in, like, the middle of nowhere, right? Like, sure, I don't yeah. actually live in Ottawa. I live outside of Ottawa. So um, she took an Uber, like a, like a $100 Uber, to go into Ottawa to get Yeezys. From, from where they were. And not to get one pair of Yeezys. Right. Not to get two pairs of Yeezys. Three. Not to get three pairs of eight. Yeezys. Not to get four pairs of five. Yeezys. Not to get five pairs of Yeezys. Eight. I'm going to get with six eight. pairs oh. of Yeezys. For herself? I don't know. I hope not. I'm Do not you know really what color sure. they were? No, uh, like the story was too ridiculous. And actually, that's actually not all they bought. They also got like three MacBooks. And what? Yeah, I feel like you get that all cheaper in Shanghai. See, Is I would not? think that, but I think it's like one of those situations. Like you know how like here uh, in Canada, so we like we we raise all these cows and we ship the beef off to. No, no, it's the same thing. We ship the beef off to the states because it's where, such an where, 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 it, where it gets turned into burgers. Sure. And then it comes back to us for more than it would have been. Yeah, so like, we're re-importing our own beef, right? right? What if it's the same thing there? It's like they, they make all these like MacBooks and stuff.
shipped out to like just be slapped together and then sold back for more expensive, so it's cheaper to like. You come never know. Here. I don't know. I don't personally know. I'm not an economist. Maybe. I do not have an economics degree. I but what I do either. have is the vision to see Dire Canadian oh, versus. Snap. Do you uh, do you know? <coughs> uh, I don't. I don't want to say it in case I'm wrong, but I beat him. Oh. I just played him, and it was a good match, and I you won. Know, you know what would be smart? Look at Open up this bracket. Yeah, get that. So bracket. I can see who is playing. The last thing I looked up was the name of Atrocitus's cat. Oh. It what is, is Dexter. Right. That. It's, it's fitting. Right. Good he's for a cat. Atrocitus. He's a star. Good for you know. Good for him for adopting that. You know, really taking on another life. Helping more than himself. So I got a login. I wonder if I know what my login info is. Quick button set up here. Okay, good. That's going to give me enough time to get into this bracket and find out what this man's name is. I think Dire Canadian is going to be playing a Guile here, if I remember correctly. I could be completely wrong. The other gentleman here played Kami and Ryu, I believe. Last time I played him. Log in. Hopefully I typed in my password correctly. I did not. All right, well, give it, give it another go there, or you could just ask Abe. Um, do you know the other dude's tag? Dev SF4. So it is Dire Canadian versus Dev SF4. Dev's gonna be on your left. I'm still logging into the bracket because I don't want to have to ask yeah, take your our, time. Uh, our pilot every single time. Right. There's no. Oh. I got my password wrong again. All right, I'll look away. Well, maybe, maybe your energy helps me get it correct. Maybe turn off the thing that turns it into dots so you can see if you're doing it right. Well, no, it's, it's going to be one of three things. Oh, okay. You just don't know which one I it is? I got it. <laughs> Interested in working at Smash GG. Yo, I can't commentate. i got to fill out this job application real quick. All right, get it. I'll take over for you. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. Ultra Gunk so, Battles. We have a classic matchup here, the Ryu Guile. We're going to we see how this gets played out. Street Fighter 2 matchup. Where is Bracket? Round one. All right, we in Brazil. <coughs> A little coughing going on over there. Sorry about that. All right, so. Oh, okay, so we've just got projectiles. Finally yeah. gets in. Ryu's in. This is going to be tough to get him out for Guile without a flash kick here. There it is. Flash kick right in his chin. All right, back to the spacing game here. This should be Guile's territory. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is definitely a Guile matchup. Oh, uh, I think Guile Ooh, uh, definitely has jumping. the advantage in this, except for the part where you whiff flash kick. Uh, yeah, only do did that. EXDP off, and I feel like he could have gotten a full combo going back the other way. Yeah, much more. Mm -hmm. But his tag is Dev SF4. Okay, so no, fair enough. And maybe that's what you would have done in SF4. There was no crush counters. Oh, whiffing that DP. Could, again, could have got a big punish on that with a crush counter. Ryu's going to take the round. People popping off over there. Guilty Gear going crazy. I am now not looking at my phone. I can All right, yeah, dedicate myself to this match. Going. All right, we Ooh, got this, uses this. the EX boom in order to cut through that Hadouken. Yeah, both players using that meter effectively here to zone. Double crush. No one really capitalizing off the off these crush counters. Yeah, it's true. Although one of them was a sweep, so like, really, what are you going to do oh, off crush that? that? I don't know if you can, actually. The parry coming out. That's going to be a there we go. matchup, I think. Awesome use of the projectile in Volframes uh, of that Tatsu in order to get through. Oh, wow. On stream? Okay. All right. Man. Back to the spacing here. Oh. Dire Canadian. Oh. Oh. Right as I say, he's pushing him in the corner. Turns it around. So Ryu's sitting yeah, on really putting on this pressure. Overhead blocked. The reversal is not a great punish. Oh, and the Tatsu to take the round. So we're now looking at one nothing for Dev SF4. Yep. Um, so a few things I liked. I mean, he's not afraid to throw that Tatsu out. Uh, that's a great way to get around those booms. It's a lot more productive than them just throwing booms and Hadoukens into each other. Yeah, I think Dark um, Canadians really got to react to those and uh, yeah. just flash kick the crap out of them. Or even just do the uh, the flash cross or whatever it's called. Uh, the, the Sonic, what's, you know, where he does like the two booms. Right. Yeah. yeah. That thing. The yeah, do two of those. Be skill. I play this game. <laughs> yeah, I played this game before. I know the terminology. Oh, the throw into the corner. This could be huge if he can keep up this pressure. Backed off a little bit. Gave the up low key pressure. pressure. He's playing that slow corner game, which I actually really like. DP gets him out. Just a lot of random here. DPs. Oh, the unblockable fireball. He's going to eat it. And flash kick? Blocks no. that. Oh. 
Little pokes here from Ryu, really chipping down Dire Canadian Skyle. And oh. I feel like he could have gotten more off that crush, but Again, like, yeah. he, he wasn't ready to, to really react to that. Um, he's been playing a lot of Tekken lately. Yeah, so. I will say Dark Canadian is very yeah. much transitioning into a Tekken player. Yeah, so maybe it's something to do with, you know, uh, the fastest move in that game, unless you're Yoshimitsu, is like six, 11 frames. So... Well, jabs are 10. Uh, I think 11. Is it 10? Yeah. Okay. Like 10. I don't know anything. Uh, I do know Yoshimitsu is a 6-frame move, so whatever. Well, it's his 6-frame is Flash, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Oh, he uses the double sweep, gets blocked and punished. Oh, that backhand just getting stopped by the X Fireball. Ryu really winning this zoning war, I think, even though he really should not be. Mm -hmm. Oh, and elects to go for the crush sweep instead of literally anything else. Yeah, big crush counters are definitely missing from this match here, but both players making their way without them, doing their best here. Uh, and you can tell, like, Dev SF4 has solid fundamentals. But he does not have, you know, solid five of medals. Uh, yeah, I think both sense. of these guys just need a little more time in the lab. Mm -hmm. Oh, jumping that EX Sonic boom can take the game for Dev. Really enjoyable back and forth, though. Uh, their neutral was good. It's just that once one of them actually outfootsied the other, uh, they weren't really, you know, doing much else on there. Like, yeah. like, like again, you know, Dev SF4, every time he had a chance at a crush, he just went for crush sweep, and it's just like, what happens? Like, they fall down, and now you have to play Oki neutral again. It gives you the know? hard knockdown, which isn't bad, but you can definitely get better uh, damage as well as setups with a little little tougher combos. Mm -hmm. I think both players there really lacking movement as well as uh, optimization on their combos. Other than that, an enjoyable match to watch. Classic matchup. Yep, I and like we're going to be heading into the next match here. And trying to find out uh, who we are going to have. I see Lefty Flip sitting down here. Yeah, I see Lefty. What's going on? Oh, Dickie Dave got DQ'd. Oh, yeah, I didn't see him show up, actually. Yeah. So that's why Dev was in that last match. Lefty Flip, where are you in the bracket? Oh, so it's going to be Lefty Flip and probably Will, who oh. I saw sit down. You know, you could ask about any question about this man's gameplay, and the answer is he probably will. Oh, oh, uh, wake up super? Probably will. Probably will. So Lefty Flip uh, getting up for a second. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe he's thirsty. Just popping off before he even starts. So probably will. Going to come through with the Fong. Oh, uh, absolutely. I don't see this Lefty going any play? other way. I'm not 100% sure he might be a Balrog. Uh, I'm really excited that uh, I didn't have to play him. In, uh, in Tekken 7, because I've seen the way he plays Tekken 7. Yeah. He, yeah. Yo. he will soon. So. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad I didn't have to play him in Tekken. A uh, very solid Tekken player. Uh, I see him play SF4 more than I see him play SF5. Yeah. So I am so excited. Oh, is there no Colleen DLC? Was he going to play? Okay, I, I thought the setup had all DLC. Apparently, we were lied to. Does that mean the patches aren't in? No, no, there's there's patches. Uh, it's version 2.4, and we're at version okay, 2.5 no now. So oh. that, means, that means no costumes. So we don't get the new... Uh, we don't get Schoolboy Nash or anything like that. Shucks. Um, yeah, gosh darn it. And apparently, <coughs> Lefty Flip cannot play Colleen. Is that what he was intending to do? I'm he, not sure. He was sitting there pushing like it. it. Which is too bad, because I was really excited to see some Colleen. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you've seen Funko rocking it, but it's pretty terrifying. But what's what's unfortunate is our our actual stream PS4, which had all the DLC and everything, uh, just completely froze and would not play a match. So oh. this is what we're stuck with, because all the other PS4s are in use for Tekken, Guilty Gear. Excellent. Saw some Blaze Blue happening. That's, that's positive. It's Marvel. Marvel's been good. Marvel's been good. Not for me. I went zero and two. Yeah, I didn't even join. I don't but know I made top eight in Tekken, so there you go, crushing it. I'm gonna keep telling people that. Do you want me to coach you through top eight? Please. Can I do that? No, please. Is there rules? Ottawa tournament. We're Ottawa, are there oh, wait, coaching rules? I'm literally one of the TOs. You're allowed to coach. There's coaching. Yep. Can we coach? Yeah. Players allowed. discretion. We are we are TOs right. here, and we right. made the rules. I'll take it. Yeah. You can coach me. All right, so we're gonna see. Oh, Ryu versus Fong here. See if you can get that SF4 Ryu fundamentals into this game here. I'm noticing a lot of people that don't main five as their main game just immediately go to Ryu, right? Yeah, and absolutely. Well, why not? You know, you it's already a, know everything you can do. You know, he's vanilla ice cream. I like vanilla. And Nothing who is not that. vanilla ice cream is Fong. And I he's bet like, you he's not gonna be ready. For 
prune sorbet or something. Yeah, it was just weird prune date salad. We're just seeing some typical neutral here. Ryu making making good use of those medium punches. Fong putting on a little pressure, the V trigger. Ooh, that nice DP. Ticking in order away. To get him out there. Lefty's got to be careful here. There it is. The Was low, not ready for the lows. Kick. You know, Fong is definitely a character that you have to know everything about in order to tackle. He's he's a tough matchup. So, are we gonna start taking bets on when a random will super happens? Uh, I'm I'm gonna give it like 30 seconds. Okay. When the match hits 60 seconds, I random think the will next super. time he gets knocked down. Oh no! But he used DX. Oh, okay, we gotta wait a little bit then. He's got he's got 20 seconds to make meter back. <laughs> it's halfway there. Putting lefty some good pressure reactions. with Lefty here. Mm -hmm. His reactions are great from Street Fighter 4. Takes good reactions. Tekken takes good reactions. He's got those in the bag. Not afraid to throw it that sure you. Oh, not quite the unblockable. Trying to catch the jump there. Burning that meter to keep him in the corner. Will just jumping out. Gonna chip him out. Oh, there it is. So I guessed 60 seconds. He did it at 55 seconds. So I, I, mean, was, I was five seconds off. No, it's Price is Right style, isn't it? Oh, yeah, okay. No, uh, actually, I guess that would have been the other way. That's not that bad. Never mind. That was you were close. five seconds off. That's yeah. pretty good. Right? That's pretty good. I'll give you that. You know, Will Super. He's a big fan of uh, chipping out with Super as well. Mm hmm. He's a big fan of Supers when you shouldn't Super in every sense. Yeah. Just, just super all the time, actually. Ooh. Some of that classic Fong cross-up action right there. Nice sweep. Putting on the pressure with the clouds. Going low profile. Probably expected some kind of like a Hadouken to, to get him off or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that move is really good. A lot of even mid-attacks go over it and you just get punished right away. There's been a lot less uh, setting up of shop with poison in the air from Will uh, than I'm used to. Oh, nice stiff arm. Keeping him in the corner with those medium and heavy punches. Putting him in his place. Almost has stun here. Will sliding out of the corner like the a slippery escape. man. Throwing those slimes. Oh, and the heavy punch to take it. See, the thing with Fong, just being such a weirdo, right? It's yeah. like you, you test him the whole round. Like, if you don't have that Fong knowledge, you're like, can I push a button here? No, get yeah. blown up. And then so you don't do it next time. And then you're like, oh, the game's over. And then you're like, oh, can I push a button here? No. Pretty much just don't. No, never push any buttons. Disconnect your controller and go home, actually. Yeah. Can't lose if you get DQ'd. Yeah, Will's looking good in his, his final round here. If he wins, he takes the match. That stun bar has gotten about 70% twice now and just gone right back down. And not too much of a life differential. Good footsies here. Oh, lefty's got Ooh, him in the is corner. Is he A little bit of damage. What's he going to go for? Is he going to be an or a low throw? Will not giving up just yet. Puts himself in the corner, but he's hiding behind that cloud. Burning that meter like it don't mean nothing. Oh! And, and I, I wanted he, to avoid the unblockable uh, jumped, Hadouken. Yeah. And he let it go early and caught him on those jump frames. It was good. It's good from lefty. Oh, lefty getting in there, following in his fireballs. Just solid. Ryu, chip away pressure, button into fireball, repeat. Oh my goodness, tries to go for the EX Hadoken and ends up getting uh, getting beat out by the EX finger poke from Fong. <laughs> the nun finger. The EX belly rub. <laughs> and are we going to have stun? Oh, Uses the EX, let me out. It is on this round. Oh or my could goodness. Be. Oh, what's the what's mix the up? setup gonna be? Oh, shimmy, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yam, yeah, shimmy, yay now. Snap. We take those. Will scratching his head. He sees him. He sees one, him. One. Give him a nod. One Got to go one. to set game. Did you hear this crowd when that shimmy happened? There was a bit of pop off there. Lefty flip with the fundamentals. Both players look collected going to this next round here. Yeah, Will actually looks like he wants to be here. Maybe this is what happens when you let him play fighting games before 11 at night. Yeah, I mean. Will is an owl. He just lives at night. Keeping him out with those tiny pokes there. Ooh, just throwing hot Oh, he gets the could splits have, right under. I'm not sure if he could have got more. Mm -hmm. He made the mistake of pushing a button after the knees. Didn't do it that time, but now he's in the throw mix-ups. Oh. 
We got crushes. Oh, the setup. Oh. Whips. Wow, nice smart answer for Will. Yeah. yeah, the wake up the X slide. I don't know any of Fong's actual move names. No. I know one of them is Riabenda, but I don't know which one that is. Uh, oh, and the low kick is, poke to He's close got it the there. electric slide. He's got the belly scratcher. Yeah. He's got the pelican. It's true. He's got, he's got the gumballs. Poison balls. The gumballs. Yeah. Gumball 5000. Oh, the, Crush. The great and you know Will is going to convert off of Crush, but not there. Yeah, Will's got that optimization. We're seeing just some classic footsies here from Ryu. It's been working for him. Why change it? I think we just need to see a little more patience. Oh, and there it is. And there's the Pelican. Whap, 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 whap. Is that a oh. bird? Is that a plane? It's probably Will. Got a hit straight into V-Trigger cancel. And he gets that to go into the so corner. Much, but nothing doing. It is now 2-1. Probably will. Will moves on. You know, you ask it, will Will move on? Probably, Probably will. will. For a few rounds at least. <laughs> we'll see how far he can take it here, you know. That fog might get him further than uh, so it's anyone be, expects. So probably will. is going to move on to the next round where he will face Brian Lewis, a.k.a. Sewell Boy Tell Him. Oh, wow. You're dropping that? Sewell Boy Tell Him? Absolutely. All day. Is there a um, mixtape I can grab from Sewell Boy from Tell Him? Tell him? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna see when he drops that. You know? Does he have a "Kiss Me Through the Phone" remake? Duh. We need something. Whiff something me through the phone. Ooh. Oh, that sounds terrible. Now watch me whiff, whiff. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. Whiff that Sugal boy. The next line is definitely "Watch me, Dante." <laughs> yep. Instead of Nene. That is him. Dante. Narrowly missed top four at uh Watch you have a Dante? My Dante. Sugo Boy tell him, watch my Dante. Oh, that's the name of his first mixtape. Watch oh, my Dante. That's fire. There's like some weird like it hits your ears weird, but it's a good it's yeah. a good weird. I like it. So up here we've got Forest versus Death to Scrubs. Now Death to Scrubs has uh started off as a Mika player. I learned a lot of tech from him. Is he an Abigail now? He well he switched to Colleen. There's no Abigail uh, or Colleen on this setup. Oh crap! Yo, there's there's no Abigail on here. Yo yo, one one second, Abby. There's there's no Abigail. That's what he's fixing oh, now. Oh okay. Yeah. You know, I think Abigail should probably just never exist. I think that's fine. He's not that bad. I mean. No, he's kind of cool. With with Mika, you just throw, throw the mic against him. Morty just lot. wandering behind me. Just, just do some mic throws. I'm dying. Yeah. I haven't eaten today. Well, I had some. I had. Oh. oh. Why is Abigail there? Okay, but so Matt's Abigail. not even on the screen. But the other ones aren't. All right, well, our bad, I guess. I think I ate about 20 mini okay. bell peppers earlier. Ooh, man. They were good. So. What, what are you trying to eat after this, then? Where, where are we going in this, in this beautiful I'm on, like, Ottawa? a stupid diet. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm that guy right now. Uh, it happens. I'm down like almost 60 pounds, though. Yo, say a word, man. Good for you. Thanks. Now I just have to like start moving. Well, I guess I'm just not going to viciously describe all the all the things I'm going to eat after this tournament then. Well, I mean, if you want to go somewhere, I'm down. I don't know. Well, I don't, I don't know, know if that's, that's what I was thinking. You know, like we'll have a nice, have a nice post-tournament team. Yeah, I don't know how late I'll be here, but eh, we'll see. We'll see what's up. We'll see. It's a possibility. Oh, man. The giant Canadian versus. Wondering what Forrest's Abigail knowledge is like. That's is, a good is, point. Is he gonna have a plan? I don't. Against the Canadian conundrum. Wow. Just punch in her face. So puts him straight into the ora ora ora. Goes for the sweep, and we're gonna go straight there. And he go back up the other. No, saves it in order to do that. That's yeah, a very common. Forest. A lot of camis will not burn the rest of their V-meter straight into the uppercut. And Ooh. Oh, that was lucky. Or, well, you never know. The command grab to close it out. That's a lot of damage. And as we can see a little bit, uh, Forrest trying to figure out what to do. He's basically, he's got a couple rounds to figure out what to do against this because uh, it doesn't Ooh. look like he's got too much matchup knowledge. Yeah, it's true. And Death of Scrubs definitely has this matchup knowledge. He's looking cool, calm, collected, getting hooliganed. Oh. Getting that hooligan throw. 
Forrest here is just going to chill out. He's going to look at his opponent and see what he tries to do. Forrest is waiting for a whiff move to punish with, uh, with super. super. Oh, yeah. 100%. Hundo P. That's his thing. And he's consistent Ooh. with it. Could have gotten more off that shimmy. I'm surprised he, he wanted to super, super after that. that. I'm surprised he didn't. I think it was a missed input. Could be. Hip hip. All right. Hip hip. Hip hop. Kind of a staring match going on here. Yeah, Death of Scrubs playing a nice slow game, just throwing Spacing out those, each other out those long range buttons. Does not go. push a button after the V skill. Smart. Here comes Cammy. Oh. Uses the EX run to escape. Could have got the DP. Could have got a whole crush. new meaning to Cannon Spike. Spiked it down. Yeah. Uh, what? Didn't go for the crush. Went for a command grab instead. That's true. It's a little strange, but it is guaranteed a lot of damage. Ooh. And the normal throws really arrow. don't do a lot to Abigail. Just stepping on her back. She's definitely dead. Oh, and the command grab. Is he going to burn the super here? He is. There is that going to chip? I don't know if that chipped or no, not. No, it hit. It hit. It hit. So sometimes you got to take those. Move. Yeah. Now next time he won't do anything and he'll just bully the super. But uh, now he's got to go into this third round with no meter. That's and true. Death to Scrubs sitting on a little bit of meter so he was able to open with this. Boom. Cool 20%. Call it 50. Abigail really putting on the herd here. And Cammy sitting on full V-Trigger. And I've seen Forrest using the V-Trigger cannon spike because even on block, puts him far enough away uh, mm -hmm. that there's not too much danger of repercussion. Yeah, you can definitely space it well. You might eat like a medium punch or something from Abigail, but that's not a really big worry. I, I like the decision to V-reversal there because that was that was a V-trigger um, dive kick. It was, yeah. And so it was going to be, you know, just, just different properties. He didn't want to have to deal with whatever the mix-up was after that. Yeah, he you want to get, get rid of that. Face. Get that pressure out of there. Go back to your long range here. It's been working for him. It's been working for both players, really. It's kind of strange. That move is amazing the way it knocks the hooligan out. It's a crouching move. It's a really good answer. That, that, yeah. hits, that hits her at the top of her apex. Oh, wow. That's a big boy. Oh, the sweep from half screen into the jab frame jab, trap. Jab, jab. DTS. I love all Abigail's turn. punches combo into themselves. Jab, jab. Medium, medium. Heavy, is heavy. all of them? I think it's all of them. Do the directional heavies do that? I don't think so. No. I think it's actually back heavy that combos into itself, actually. Oh, okay. Not just uh, neutral heavy heavy. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Let me know if I am wrong, chat. I mean, he won't be reading the chat. But... Well, no, but I'm <laughs> saying they can discuss it amongst themselves. Yeah. How do you know I don't have Twitch mobile open reading what the chat's I see saying? your phone. I... Why, are you, why are you being like this? <laughs> Man's out here exposing me to the world. And I'm just salty I lost a second. That's all it is. Yeah, how, how, what was your record in Tekken? 0-2, uh, I think. 0-2? Oh Rough. I think so. Rough. Can't relate. Wow. <laughs> money, money match? Are we money Yo, matching? Let me see if I have any money. You do? Oh, I don't want to put 10 on it. Let me get some change. All right, we'll see what's up. I'll, I'll see you after bracket. After class. I'm feeling myself. Lot. You're feeling yourself? Yeah. That's no good. My next goal is losers finals. Hmm? No. Oh, I think Forrest wanted to switch to Akuma, but... He wants that fireball option against the Abigail. Yeah, because like, we'll get you a new PS4 if you want to play Akuma. He's trying to decide if he uh, wants the DLC character on this... I don't think he needs a janky tournament setup. You gotta play Randy. Trying to figure out That's what is Randy? going on here. All right, I gotta play Wabru though. So, we see if it speaks. Catch you later, Duder. Yo, good luck in your game. Um, he uses the claw a lot, and I gotta play soon. Okay, do you wanna do the switch? Okay, fine. Okay, I like it. So apparently, I play soon. Let me, let me find out hey everybody, playing. it's me, the best rocket raccoon in Facts. the universe. Facts. Facts. I seen it. I'm also like the future champion of Ultra Gonk Battles, Marvel vs. Capcom <laughs> event. I've seen into the flames, I know it. Oh really? Were you uh, looking into the time stone? What yes. did it reveal? Yeah. I, I looked into the time stone. And the so time stone looked back. 
we're doing a, a console switch here because someone of course. someone told us this console had all the DLC. They lied. They lied. Uh, Forrest would like to switch to Akuma for this game. He lost his first game against uh, Death of Scrubs. They did the Cami Abigail match. Cami was not able to clutch it out, so now he wants to go Akuma versus Abigail. And Esports. I've, I've never seen uh, Forrest's Akuma, but just in my head, I feel like that's the worst matchup. I've only seen. Uh, actually, I know what. Uh, I think it's e it's the same. Akuma's still pretty strong. Mm -hmm. I feel like his neutral is like slightly worse than Cami's because of his slow buttons. Mm -hmm. But honestly, yeah, I, I mean, feel like he's he's still like it isn't like abysmal neutral. Like for example, it isn't a uh, Colleen neutral. Mm -hmm. Uh, <coughs> yeah. And I mean, I can't say I'm too familiar with that matchup, but just as the characters on paper, like I feel like with the amount of damage that Abigail can output and how little health that Akuma has, I mean, I don't know. Just it does. It doesn't feel like it's a. It's a very Akuma positive. Akuma does like almost the same amount of damage that Abigail does. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just worried like, about his HP purely. Kemi has good damage, but mm -hmm. I feel like. I just feel like they have the same amount of HP. Mm -hmm. Kami and Akuma have oh, the same okay. amount of HP. So he's they not really, he's him. not really losing out on too much. No, he isn't. Yeah, they put him up to 875, right? Yeah. He used to be no, like no. 50. He, they put him up to 900. He oh, used to goodness. be 875. We're 900 boys now. Yeah, he, uh, it's he's 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 fine. Um, it isn't much of a trade-off, honestly. I feel like Akuma uh, might have the edge in this match. Uh, mm -hmm. Abigail doesn't really have too many tools to deal with fireballs, in my opinion. And uh, in terms of like a playstyle thing, right, he's a big fan of using those hooligan mix-ups, so at least he'll have the demon flip to work yeah, with, right? Yeah, demon um, flip is more viable than mm -hmm. hooligan. And I think that's actually what he's going for there, because a big part of that matchup was that uh, Death Scrubs was using, I believe it was it was Crouching Heavy Punch, the one that like reaches like kind of above him, and even though it was a crouching move, it was hitting Cammy out of the apex of her hooligan combo, which is just absolutely wild, because, you know, he's giant. Um, I'd just like to make a terminology correction. Mm -hmm. uh, this isn't Marvel, so hooligan and uh, a demon flip mix-ups aren't mix-ups. They're gimmicks. They're call them gimmicks. They're gimmicks. <laughs> I am going to call, call them, them mix-ups. Like I, I will tell not them do like that. Tell them like it is. I tell them like it that. is. I cannot. Let's tell them about itself. I cannot. You're tearing me apart, Lee. <laughs> You're tearing me apart, Cammy. <laughs> But it's uh, you know, I did not, I did not, <laughs> I did not. It's but bullshit. gimmicks, mix-ups, whatever you want to call them. Essentially, why, why don't we go with functions? How about we have a nice little middle ground? The little flippy function that lets you either kick or grab. It's bullshit. They are not functions. <laughs> they are not functions. They are not. I, I can see we will have no middle ground. But uh, regardless, though. Uh, he's going to use it in the same way, I think. But, yeah, I agree with you. I think that Demon Flip is a lot more viable uh, than Hooligan Combination, uh, especially in this particular matchup. Yeah, uh, just in general. because, like, there's tons of setups for mm -hmm. Demon Flip meaties that make it real. And but, like, you can use it, like, you know, mid-combo in, uh, in, like, other situations and stuff, too, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, Kimmy doesn't really have... Kimmy's Hooligan has, like, a really long startup period, mm -hmm. and so it's really hard to get, like, that meaty Hooligan setup. Mm-hmm. Because it's barely it barely exists. No, yeah, because <laughs> I, I mean, even if you score a knockdown and then instantly do it, and let's say you want to, you want you want the yeah, the low part Akuma to hit me. Akuma has those right? hard knockdowns. That's the thing. Mm. Uh, Kami does not. Akuma is like one of the only characters in the game with a hard knockdown with that DP that does like way too oh, much. Oh, and damage. then where he actually yeah yeah when he's in V trigger. Yeah, when he's in V trigger. Gotta gotta love uh, those those V trigger heavy characters. I'm looking at you, Nikali, yeah. and Akuma. And of course. Uh, Unlike Kami, uh, Akuma builds V gauge faster. Mm -hmm. Even though Kami has like can build V trigger faster because of that two bar V trigger, um, Akuma has a very viable V skill because it can be used. Oh yeah, as absolutely. A, as a, as as a, a parry combo. and yeah, not a, not just as a parry, but as a, an actual like combo tool. Mm -hmm. You can cancel into it and it launches. It's a big uh, part of uh, Akuma's non V trigger combo game. So what I'm wondering about this matchup while we're waiting for the console to finish booting up because PlayStations have amazing load times. Uh, <laughs> Metagame over there, just exasperated as can be. Um, so he's a big, Forrest particular is a big fan of using Kami's critical art as a punish, right? And with Akuma having access to a one frame punish uh, in, uh, in Raging Demon, do you think he's just gonna just throw that out there? I mean, that's a lot of resources to burn. Um. I don't think so. Um, I mean, Forrest does like to use Hooligan. A lot. A lot. 
but like Cooligan, Cooligan's just as like gimmicky. Yeah. Maybe, maybe less resources. I feel like he might as like a frame one punish, mm -hmm. but it's very hard to punish with Demon, with Rage Demon. It's rewarding, sure, but mm -hmm. it's, it's hard nonetheless. So it's unfortunate that we had to do um, Death Scrubs. So it's unfortunate that we had to do a full console switch because any kind of like momentum or, or, or whatever that was going in, it's, just, it's all gone and we're starting from fresh, right? Ooh. Pumpkin Spice Akuma. That's tis the season. Tis the season. Where's where's pumpkin spice Abigail? <gasps> Chai spice <laughs> Abigail versus pumpkin spice Akuma. Oh, Give it to me. We're we're out here. So I'm excited. I've never seen Forest Akuma. Um, I've only seen his Dalzim. I. That that's even more surprising to me. His Dalzim is not that good. <laughs> Tell him. All right. So we are Throws hopping straight into Those fireballs. The, that's the real difference in uh, Cammy's neutral versus Ooh, Akuma's using neutral. that in order to bat away the fireballs. Yeah, it's good, except it has a lot of recovery, mm -hmm. so you can kind of bait it out. And I feel like Forrest probably noticed that uh, right off the bat, and he's going to look for that kind of situation uh, yeah. moving forward. Uh, Kuma also has that uh, invincible DP. DP. Mm -hmm. uh, Kami only has medium kick. Um, invulnerable, air invulnerable DP because of the nerf to her. It's a buff to other characters because it had no invincibility before. But Cammy actually had uh, air invincibility on all of her uh, all of her DPs before the patch. And we are going to have uh, oh the man, the myth, the legend, the Mortsy Express on the mic. The Mortsy Express. I haven't heard that in a while. Actually, I didn't even hear it at the tournament uh, on Wednesday. Man, this is a rough matchup. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a rough matchup for uh, the Abigail. Express. I don't I was actually I've had a rough time against Mark or against Forrest and I uh, I was actually thinking of using Abigail against his Cammy for okay, purely that's for this matchup. Okay. You're what we in the commentary community like to call a geef kid. A they they commentate kid? by talking about themselves. Oh shit. I've heard Geef Kid commentate the A4 Arena once and he just he was like, okay, so when I fight this person, I like to do this. And they, he just always talks about himself and what he's I accomplished. Think, I think it's fair to uh, draw from personal experience though. It's Yeah, but all it, he talks about is himself. Yeah, that's not that's Okay. Not good. Oh, okay, good uh, right, read on that. He can do he can do full combo. I didn't actually know that that was a real jungle, oh, uh, medium kick talk to. Yeah, I've seen Buck try to do it and uh, fail a lot, so this is <laughs> this is better. I'm honestly, I've never seen anyone, pull, or I've never seen Mark or Forrest. I'm just gonna end up using their names all the time. Uh -oh. I've never seen Forrest use a character other than Cammy. So is uh, really surprising. I I've honestly, like, oh god. I've seen his uh, dolls in casual matches. We run into each other a lot on casual matches. Yeah. He has like he he uploads all of his matches on his YouTube channel. You can find about like sixty of me, us playing each other. Oh my god. Okay. Ooh, Abigail running forward. Ooh, tried to to use that giant flip to go That's over, but did not work He's out got in his a... favor. Oh, there we go. Keep him in the corner. Nice. Whoa. That should be the kill. Yeah. Oh my god. It's a lot, yeah, it's of, a damage. lot of damage. Yeah, people are surprised. But as soon as Abigail gets in, he's got such an upper hand. I'm su honestly surprised. That was a really good uh, save or a decision to jump over. I'm surprised we didn't see a attempt at a DP there. Um, yeah, hopefully, I, I'm honestly I'm uh, nice command grab, Ryan. All right, <laughs> runs forward using that armor. Not safe. It is. The type of players that these two are: demon flips versus run. Which gimmicks <laughs> win? Which gimmicks are more gimmicky or less gimmicky? I think. Ooh. Uh, I think uh, Death Describe is going to be able to get away with a lot more of that sort of stuff because, uh, oh god. Um, I feel like uh, um, Forest uh, nice. punish, trying to punish that Tatsu with run was an ill-advised idea. And that's it. I guess what he was Death going Describe for. Death takes and, it. Oh my god! Wow. The upset. The that upset. is actually crazy. Yeah, the Congrats upset. Congrats to Death to Scrub. That is fantastic. Yeah, yeah that's definitely that an upset. That is that is a huge upset. We've got actually. two pad players here. One using oh, a uh, current era controller. The other using an artifact. What? No. Where are you going? I'm leaving. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I am uh, 
It is okay, so, ladies and gentlemen. I there is another girl with Starbucks. We we oh have yeah, not lost that's anything. That's exactly it. You've already bonded. <laughs> oh, look at all those. We we traded. We traded one girl with Starbucks for another girl with that's Starbucks. That's exactly it. The, like the real the realist stream mix up. Oh man, that's good. Getting getting a solid glare from the sun. <laughs> More Judging. Abigail and Akuma. Oh, okay, but okay. Uh, we're gonna be mortally up against death against. Uh, is it Death the same people? Or? What? Is it the same people? No, like, it, like last time it was uh, it was Forrest that was up there. Oh, okay. So I, that, that match finished up. Okay. Uh, I'm, I don't even know who won. I wasn't paying attention. Me neither. I've been. We're, we're just talking about how. Yeah. How 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 like zoned out I was and how my supper okay. basically consisted of a Mars bar. It's okay. It's okay. Forrest lost. Okay. Anyways, yeah. Good to have you back, casting. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Very uh, glad to be And back. big shout out to all the people that actually uh, showed up uh, on the mic for uh, for this. That's uh, Toffee, Mortsy, Buck, uh, Gwai showed up for a little bit there. Like everyone, everyone's coming out. Oh my God, the Rashid costume, too strong. It reminds me of uh, what's that guy's name that played like Bruno, or not Bruno? <laughs> um, even know what you're starting. Ali G. Oh, Ali G. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Well, careful. Oh. There's there's wires. Oopsie. Okay. No worries. There we go. So this should right. be a little bit of a difficult matchup for Abigail, who's kind of got to make some pretty hard reads uh, right. to get into the projectiles that uh, Rashid's coming into. But mm. Mortzi, with an offensive style, is going to want to try and get in. So let's see how this sort of plays out. He's doing pretty well. Like he's being able to keep everyone at distance. Yo, Abe. Can you turn up uh, our volume? Thank you. So I'm like really quiet. Yeah, just a little bit, but it's fine. Now we have the sweet setup, so I can actually just hear you easier. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. For sure. Especially because these are like noise canceling headphones. Oh, so good. All right, here we go. Inside the corner, getting grabbed. Mm. And I don't, I don't think Abigail really kind of cares about being in the corner. Well, he does when there's a tornado on him. <laughs> um, I feel like anyone would would care. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's been hitting like you know half the world, and they're stunned. <laughs> So Mortsy, empowered by the Ali G cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. There we go. I see I can't unsee that now. Yeah, I know you can't. Cause I was like, I, I remember when this when this like came out there, there was a whole bunch of people there like, oh, it's the best, it's the best costume, and I'm like, I I can't disagree. It's really, it's really clean. I like also it. you can actually see those hitboxes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but there we go, Abigail coming in, rolling in as uh his Mad Max bullshit likes to do. Oh, nice. Oh my god, and he's Good got catch. big damage. And all meter, too. Yeah. But I mean, Abigail, Abigail is, is doing really well. So. Ab Abigail's... Yeah. And like, you gotta be so worried about Abigail's meter because it means basically everything's just armored now. Oh, really? Oh yeah, because like the charge that's like coming out there... Though you're not gonna see it because Death Scrubs is doing that patient stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, look like... Looks like Rashid is coming back. Oh, no, he mm. ain't slapped out of the air. I spoke too soon. Oh, my God. Denial. Smack him. That's... <laughs> uh, I that hate was... Abigail. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? I, I don't like his design. Legitimately, the first time I saw him, I described him as a pile of mashed potato bullshit. <laughs> I just... It was the Evo night. And I, we, just, we just finished seeing... Um, uh, like the Tekken announcements and stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, so then here we go. We're seeing the command grabs and the grabs come out. And he's... He's like a half grappler. He can do a, a bunch with the command grabs, Not but... as annoying as, like, Zangief. Oh, or uh, even T-Hawk. Oh, T-Hawk! <laughs> Just grab you by the dome piece, take you for a ride? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. You know what Abigail reminds me of? He's like a really bad JoJo villain. He's yeah. just a really bad JoJo... Well, he's Fist of the North Star. Is it really? It's 
Oh. Should Abigail be worried? Hmm. Mm, seems so. Coming in real heavy there, and that's uh Ali that's G Rashid. takes that. Yeah, exactly. Ali Rashid. <laughs> There we go. 1-0. Actually, from this angle, he looks like a One Piece uh, character. Yeah, he looks like, aggressive. Right. <laughs> it's like, Ugh. Round two. Match two. Mm -hmm. All right. And now you're actually seeing... You're seeing uh, Mortsy actually take the offensive inside of this up right. until he gets beamed with, like, 100 punches. Be <laughs> reversal. Oh, my God. Running up to him wow. to try and get that grab. Worrying stuff. Abigail just has a lot of health, doesn't he? He's a big boy. He's a big boy. He's also Canadian. Oh, is he? Yeah. I'm so That's proud. Surprising. Are, are you proud, though? No. Like, we get represented, and it's like this guy. Yeah, finally. <laughs> but it's like <laughs> oh this guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Was there never a Canadian character? I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. Nah. Mm. Great. All right. Ooh, oh, rushes nice. in. It looked like they both had the same idea, but uh, Abigail's took a little bit more to trigger. Yeah. Oh, my God. And it slaps him out of the air. That's, like, full damage. Look at this. Wow. Where's your it's HP like, go? like, what, 50% there? That's no. a little bit more, actually. It looks like 60. Wow. That's wild. Abe becomes Shin Abe. <laughs> Shin, Shin Abe. <laughs> the edgier, the edgier the, Abe. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Catches in the corner, and you don't want to be up again. Because this is literally, because Abigail's the wall, and the corner's the hard place, mm. or vice versa. Either way, it's a bad place to be. But he also has a very big hitbox, though, right? What, Abigail? Yeah. Yeah? I'd, I'd <laughs> hope so. <laughs> oh, like, I don't remember, but I think, I, I don't know, like, because now, now in the back of my head, I have this horrible worry that I'm like, oh, no, they have exactly the same hitboxes. Oh, Jesus. Wait. Yeah, they do, because all all combos work on all characters inside of this. Mm. So I guess Abigail's hitbox is the same. I don't want to say that. I feel like Twitch chat's yelling at me right now. See, that's a good thing. We don't have to worry about that this time. We don't I know. have to look at it. I, I never worry about it. Oh, my God. Slipping out of there, anime style. How many people are watching? Uh, how many people are watching, Abe? Solid double digits. Is anyone talking shit about us? Oh, one of them no, left as leave. I was saying they that. They just leave. They're like, no, this is bullshit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, Ooh. so that's a grab. Now, that means Death of Scrubs it has a definite chance to actually come back here. Oh. Oh, slips out. Nice catch. Puts them back in. Well, Abigail's just like, nope, not today. Oh, my God. Tried to wow. get them again? Yo, how does this... Straight up. <gasps> oh! oh! He tried to punch the tornado back. Abigail's, like, primalistic mind was like, big tornado must hit. We need him out there <laughs> we stop, exactly. stopping the hurricane. Exactly. Just have him out there. Just... <laughs> oh, See, my God. I feel God. like we're going to have to issue a warning. Please do not punch the hurricane. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, did you hear about that? In America, there yeah, they're shooting. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I do know about that. Oh, oh man. There we go. Guess they the tried. DPN. They tried, yeah. Oh, oh they're stunned. Oh, grab the stun. Oh, there we go. Ooh, Rashid of the Turbulent Wind doesn't actually kill. I thought that was for sure. Now watch the comeback. <laughs> oh, that's what I was talking about. He's got armor. Oh, look at this swinging. That's a long. That's a long time as well. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, oh yeah. Oh no. Counter. Oh oh. Perfect time to jump out, and that is Morty going it. That's no, that's not. Mor yeah, that is Morty winning. There it is. Oh my God. Close stuff. Nice. Death to Scrubs definitely uh, asserting his place as the Abigail in the scene. Mm. No one was fighting him for that title, though. Really? Uh, I think Death to Scrubs is the only Abigail player. Okay. So, Morty was doing a lot of learning. He's, he's a very new character, too, though, right? So. He, well, he's not the newest because he's not the second newest. Manat is the other, yeah, yeah. the other one. Have we seen any Manats tonight? No? No. I, no. We have seen a Ryu. Which is weird. I know, because it's like, it's like, oh, why is Ryu strange? And I'm like, man, you don't see Ryu out. That's true. He's not that high tier this game. He's just like an, on he's an honest character in a very dishonest game. So, like, that's the problem. Do you see how stupid his parry is, though? You just have to mash it. Oh, yeah. Well, it's like, no, but, like, even dumber is the um, Alex's parry. Mm. Because as long as you're charging 
the uh, the clothesline. Phil Perry stuff. Really? Hmm. Are we seeing? Uh, are we streaming MVC Eye tonight? Yeah, yeah. Well, later on, okay. we, we we did we did the pools up to like top eight. Okay. okay. Are we having controller issues? <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> uh, Speaks joking it up. But uh, no, man, MVCI. MVCI was super fun. We yeah. uh, we saw we saw actually this guy trying right here, uh, playing, uh, winning over the crowd somehow with Ultron Dorm, which is like the meta team. Yeah. Up against Shen, who was playing like Captain America Hawkeye. Okay. And everyone's like, oh yeah, good job. And I'm like, man. He's playing Dorn. <laughs> he's like he's playing like the thing that you see like every goddamn stream. Yeah. It was just like it was just a weird time. Ed? Oh. We gonna put him to bed with Ed? Don't do it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. No, no, no. I thought we were doing no, a, no, a, a button check. Match. Match no way. Manat Mirror, here we go. <laughs> I always know. <laughs> Low tier jury, jury mirror. Low tier jury mirror? Oh, don't let Rocky hear that. Oh, you'd be mighty, you'd be who's mighty Rocky? peeved. Who, who's, who's Rocky? Rocky? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's just a guy. He's just FG, FGC dude. Oh, okay, okay. Actually, he was supposed to be here. I don't know. See, but if he watches the stream, I'm fucked. No, Rocky doesn't watch the stream. He's probably, like, playing games. We can just, we can shit talk his jury then. I, I don't shit talk his jury. I just know that. He's chosen that care. No. Is it no way! Ah, actually. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what Fuck I was it. hoping for. <laughs> Abe, I feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> that that's his. Uh... That's the code. No, that's the code. That like usually it's between me and Seagal back from like MBC three when he had like Akuma going on. That <laughs> just. <laughs> Which, which came out of the idea, I'm like, what if, what, if, what if Peter Parker could do, like, the fucking demon? And it was like, oh, Shin Paka. So oh it came off God. of that. But now we're seeing Akuma versus Akuma nice, in the middle nice. of New York. I've been actually, I've been training uh, Akuma. Yeah. I pocket Akuma now. Oh, well, I'll tell you who's going to oh, be feeling it right now. Nice. Uh, I wish I knew. Who's on what side? It's, it's trying the, 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 the white... Yeah, whatever, they're in. I'm gonna say Trions, the white one. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright. There we go, Trion jumping over top of the uh, the fireball. Oh, just trying to catch each off guard. Ooh. Nice, sure you. Mm hmm. There we go, there's the fireball, and really just sort of like throwing it out here. And I'm getting shades of like third strike, just like whipping moves to get meter. Yeah. Um, the, ooh, give wow. it to him. Double hands. Akuma recovery is like really quick on some of his moves. Yeah. Because I think he used to be a lot slower, right? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, no, he was always he was always pretty quick. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. We're just talking out of our asses. Whatever. Yeah, well, uh, welcome, welcome to, to casting. To, yeah. Welcome to Street Fighter V casting. Welcome to Street Fighter, <laughs> welcome to Street Fighter V. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Just giving Ooh. him the palm all the way back into the corner. Nice. Trying to kick out. Keeps checking his lows. These two, very patient. V-trigger on both sides. Oh, oh. here we go. Um, okay, well here's here we don't. Yeah, that's another that's another signature to Street Fighter casting. Oh, here's this cool thing that's gonna happen. No, all right, safe stuff. Both of them just jumping up, throwing double <laughs> and, fireballs. And here's Safe oh, Fighter Five. Oh, there we go. Actually catches with the low. <laughs> it's it's safe, safe Fighter, fighter five. five. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Safety scissors. Don't run with them. They'll still fuck you up. <laughs> One for Nashu. Oh, so Nashu's red. Okay. Okay. That's an interesting match. I'm learning. That, yep. That's that's good. Learning's good. You know when you start a new uh, character and you're you're just like I don't know what to do with this. Oh, okay, all right, game one. I know, I know. I was just like, okay, he's that that, that was fun and all. Let's. Uh, oh, so there. So that wasn't his. Let's roll. Okay, okay. All right. So Rock Nashi was actually like stuck with Akuma. Oh. And uh, Buck is going to be running the Balrog. Which just basically means hope to high hell that Akuma doesn't miss any sort of uh, any sort of attack or whiff anything, because uh, the boxer's gonna get in whenever he feels like it. 
I think Akuma's ground uh, ground hard should should be pretty safe. Yeah. Okay. He showed that he could just go through those fireballs right there. Yeah, so watch that's, that's it. That's the thing. Like Shoto's versus Balrog is never never a good sign. Yeah. And like he's like he's like oh my god. <laughs> like he's, he's you know just in there whenever he feels like it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And that's a necessary crush. Kind of get him out of the pressure, but Buck's right back on him. Ooh. There we go. Takes him out of the air. Good grab. Mm -hmm. Patient stuff. There we go. Goes into V-Trigger really quick. Wants to actually get the pressure going on. That's Double the thing, fireballs. too. Like, you can't, you can't be too risky with this matchup. No. Because Balrog can punish you so quickly. Yeah, and he seems to actually be... Oh, my mm. God. He That's just thing. reeled back. That was like, I've n it, like even even try and reel back. He looked like he got punched like in real life out of that. <laughs> like, oh jeez. So what just happened? It just happened. It just ball like, rock wow. boxer just comes out like. Oh yeah, just whoop. Three D. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, and are they gonna do another like Street Fighter Five Three D for yeah, 3DS? Yeah, exactly. Oh boy. <laughs> oh nice. Gonna have to buy the Capcom specific uh, monitor to play it properly. <laughs> Is that a thing? Oh, oh God! Don't, don't give them ideas. Uh, I know I shouldn't. There we go. Get the grab. Coming Street, in. Street Fighter Five game of the year with monitor. Yeah, with monitor. Exactly. That's a thing, though. That's wild. Oh, here we go. Actually, drops the super. Oh, nice. Bringing them right back. There we go. Hitting that fire there. That's good. Ooh. Big stomp. Cool. Starting it out. Uh, like that's the thing that like I, I see a lot of uh, a lot of boxer uh, do uh, mm. is like go to the air like I kind of like the start of like a match and stuff like that just to say like yeah this is an option I'm totally willing to kind of like throw out there because he's like he's known for his grounded sort of like movement and pressure but he has an aerial game that's surprisingly good right who boxer yeah really it's just like he has like really quick like air to air, air like air to air right, right and right. also his like. I think it's like his heavy punch in the in the air is like a nice downward angle, so he's got some good stuff. Ooh, brings him back his down. His skill is crazy. Oh, it's nonsense, which he does have actually, like ready and uh, willing to throw it. Or when you here, your, yeah. Oh no, here we there go. There you go. All the way. Oh my mm. god, he's not done. He has a little bit left inside the tank. What's he gonna do? Oh, nice throw tech. And then nice. yeah, Bad trades trade. that out. That's all you need. All right. Yeah. Now, uh, now Tryon has a chance to switch if he feels like it. Mm. Oh, is that how we're doing? Yeah, yeah well, like, pretty sure I'll, oh, no. Is this, is this how the game is going to go? Akuma mirror into players swapping who won, like, who wins? <laughs> players swapping. Oh, no. Oh. Ooh. Oh, no. So, uh, get ready for some Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Oh my god. Alright, so. Like Try and. Uh, so, Laura's like to get in. Try and specific Laura loves to get in. This man. <laughs> this man has as the title that I have coined numerous times the can opener. It doesn't matter opener. what defense you have going on, he will find it, crack it open. And eat heartily. Wow. He's a madman. <laughs> but right now, playing. But has a lot of damage. Oh Ooh. my god. And uh, yeah, that dashing was punished harshly. There we go. Brings the knee in. Starts it off. Oh, what are we doing? Oh my. And like, and the grab just gets denied with like rolling punch coming in. And Ooh. there's the stun. This is what I was saying. This man. He, what? What? The, who, that did not just happen. Who hurt you? Who hurt you to do that? What? What? In like, in your mind, you're like, this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I have hurt. you stunned. I have other optimal combos, but instead, I'm gonna let you out of it so I can double grab you. This That's... is a. Ooh. I was gonna say this is a rude dude with Tude, but Balrog. Reminding me who's the real rude one here. 
Yeah. Oh my god. Coming in two fisted. You know, despite having like less options than he did in four, he's mm -hmm. still really viable. Like he's, he's incredibly top tier. viable. It's because he's just he's able to dictate pace all the time. That was a crazy choice. To jump in on a Laura. Well, to neutral jump on a Laura that has a thunderclap coming under underneath you. That took precision timing. Mm. And Balrog on everything. There you go. Yeah, Tryon's face says it all. It's not uh, not mighty pleased with the uh, the outcome that's going on here. But these two going right at it, right up against each other. Neither one oh, looking down. Good, good grab. Looking two back down. There we go. Oh my god, and those elbows. The slow grind all the way to the corner. That Buck is like, he sees it happening and he's like, I have to punch back. I have to like force him off me. Jumps over. Ooh. Oh no. And that was just a little bit lower because any other move would have like put him a little bit further. But that uh, that thunderclap there, ooh, perfect V reversal. Get off of me. And there nice. it is. The double elbow. It's uh, it's not uh, not something that's too special and whatnot, but uh, well, it sure as hell works. That's a good match. And that's trying hot seating it right now. Are we going to be seeing Abigail v like versus Laura? Anyways, <sighs> good to see this stuff. These are some good matches so far. Yeah, these are some solid matches. I'm actually like really surprised. Like. Um, that, like, I'm, I'm a huge fan of, like, when two people, like, kind of, like, absolutely, like, go at it, like, and just kind of smash together because it's, because that, that's why, like, KI, it always feels like every time they're, like, coming together. And I'm getting a lot of this from, like, these matches that are kind of coming out here mm. where, um, like, I, I always, lo I always love watching, uh, watching try and play because he's got a very aggressive mindset. Yeah. And so it's not about if, it's about when mm -hmm. the aggression's gonna come. Um, his button check? Yeah, his button check. You know, Killer Instinct is one of the, the only fighting games I have not like looked at or even played before. It's on Steam now. Is it? I thought it was a Microsoft exclusive. I know, it just came out on Steam. Oh. Another reason that's going on, yeah. Now, Spe Speaks and me have a race going on okay. to get a to get a tournament started. Uh, he wants to get Injustice going, and I want to get Ki going, and so oh. we're like, all right, need, nobody in the scene has any desire to have a tournament of these games. So let's see how long it takes for either one of us to actually get this thing running. Hmm. Might might I add? There was a Ki specific night at DTR, so um, I'm a little in the lead. Just a little bit, just a little, a little bit. bit. Well, little I'll bit. tell you what, you have yourself another player. Oh, wonderful. Once I have money. The KI Legion grows. <laughs> Once I have more money. It's free on Microsoft. What? Yeah. Oh, you need Windows 10, though. Yeah. I don't have Windows 10. Oh, that's a problem. Okay. Wait, do I need it to play? I don't know. Yes, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Are they, are you they also only fun? get... Yeah, that was button check. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, there's like not... There's no one else there. Yeah. Um, I hope... <laughs> I love those things. Say what? I love the little like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The uh, the hat stuff. The hats. I wish they were permanent though. Mm, okay, here's the thing. If you get that and then you go perfect the other way around, it's the ultimate disrespect because you finish the entire round with it on your head because you've not been touched. Oh, that's right. That's how it works. Oh yeah, the best one in my mind is the noodle bowl. That's. Just Pop. Okay, in that in that map, there's that Asian dude that looks like super Asian. Oh yeah, and there's a few of them. <laughs> no, but he looks like he looks like oh, I was gonna say a cartoon, but but I mean ob yeah. obviously, but like you know how everyone else looks like pretty like you know. Yeah, just like that random cowboy man. Right, of, <laughs> of course. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. That changes everything. Yeah, exactly. I'm like I'm looking back there and I'm like <laughs> random I don't have a case random anymore. large black dude in the back. It looks like something out of Spider-Man. Yeah. It's like Man. a black kingpin. Kingpin is black, like, in the comics. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. 100%. Even in, like, I thought that was a movie where, like... Every rendition I've seen of him, he's white. Really? Yeah. Okay. Huh. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm used to it being the other way around, but... Really? Yeah. Wilson Fisk is uh, usually a black dude. Huh. In, um... 
Oh shit, in Daredevil, is he... Yeah, he's a black dude in Daredevil. No? What? Wilson Fisk ever block? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe in the Punisher comics he is, but... <laughs> I don't know. Punisher's what, got a what's weird... What's a Punisher? What's a Punisher? What's a Punisher? Well, let me tell you. Oh boy. He's an individual that went to Vietnam, uh, where he was gifted his powers of basically staying alive forever for, to survive everything. So is he Deathstroke? Oh yeah, no, no, uh, no, 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 no. Deathstroke can die. Uh, only by a sword though, like a specific sword. I right? didn't know about this lore. No? I had no idea about this lore. I, I, all I know is that Deathstroke is a man and sometimes a pirate. Um, no, Deathstroke. As if, as if pirate's a different gender. Um, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't do this. Okay. Abigail. Abigail. Versus a big a big gal. Laura. It's, it's a big gal. It's a bit yeah. It's a big gal versus another big gal. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly it. Big gal's a glory. I love look at this. Look at this. Range health, like freaking half of like the uh, the goddamn skill like graph is oh. It's it's if uh, T Hawk Hugo and Zangief had a love child together. That sounds horrifying. There's just a third of each of them, yeah. and then it just builds up <laughs> into, into Abigail. <laughs> just, uh, I'm pretty sure that's how Capcom thinks, like, giving birth to something works. Have you noticed, oh. though? Their, their release has been Hot Girl, Barra Man, Hot yes. Girl, Barra Man. This I have seen. Oh, my God. There we go. EX Throw. Mm. Uh, there's another one. Oh. Hey, I heard you like being thrown into the air. Just, oh, my God. All right, and oh. hey, whatever sort of pressure you thought was gonna happen, uh, his take flick this. His is fast. Oh yeah. What is Th it? That's his light. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh so no! Disgusting. Oh, an elephant juggles. Too much. Elephant OP. We need to pra we need to nerf them. I love how you're like, oh, in 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 the China stage, there's only one racist guy, and I'm like looking in the back and I'm like, oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Anyways, here we go. Abigail continuing in, hucking him up in the air. There you go. There's that fighting oh, offense. Nice next. Oh yeah, big damage. I don't even know how she got her arms around Abigail. It's like, how is the physics behind this? <laughs> she's pinching she's pinching his muscles. Just <laughs> <laughs> must hurt. Oh yeah, no, that sounds that sounds like a bad time. Cutting off circulation. Oh, nice. Ooh, there we go, jumping out of the grab. Oh. There's that V reversal. Oh, yep, jumping out. And you gotta watch. Uh, Abigail has one of the best back dashes in the game, though. That! His back his back dash, he does finger guns at the. Uh, oh my god. That. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's nonsense. There's so much, like, little, like, weird stuff going on with this character that I'm. I don't know if I'm supposed to appreciate or not. Oh, there it is! I mean, we, I feel like we have no choice. He's Canadian. I feel like we have to back him up. No. Uh, Okay, I, I do not appreciate this skin. If you have the other skin, that's cool. Um, and hey, the reason you know he's Canadian is, you see how his hair is all weirdly shaped? That's a maple leaf. Yeah, it's horrifying. Oh, there we go. That's not okay. The double feet. I know, nothing about this character is okay. That's it's what, <laughs> you have to play the alternate skin. That makes him look like something out of Mad Max. That's okay. really good. Ooh, there we go. Are those tires on his butt cheek? Yeah, those are tires. Those are just... It's all tires. Does he use them? Uh... I don't know. He's, like, all big into, like, bikes and stuff. Abigail punch. Ooh, that's... Nice. So much damage. Ooh. And, hey, guess what? You're done here. There it is. That's it. I have never seen a character that big with those grapples rush down Laura. Like, Laura's the queen of rushdown. Yeah. Her, Karen as well. Uh, so yeah, no. Karen likes her neutral. Like, Laura's just like, I'm inside of you. And this is where I want to be. Oh, no. Get slapped. Oh, uh, my God. He's using her as a speed bag. Mm-hmm. Is that a taunt, or is that just an auto animation? Say what? Is oh, that no, that's an auto animation. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, I don't really see people taunting this game. Yeah. I... Um... Oh. Yeah, no. Now my brain was like, when was taunt like a thing inside a competitive and whatever? It doesn't really matter. Tries to jump in to get the uh, to get the grab, but now getting heavily punished by Abigail. Run it in, That's slap. It. Nice. 
Uh, so Abigail was, uh, he's the size of a truck and he ran right through that, uh, that match like one. He doesn't move like a truck. Uh, you didn't have to see it that much. Yeah, he's, he's, he's weirdly fast yeah. in some of the moves. He's like machine gun blow. Say what? It's machine gun blow. Oh yeah. That's called the Abigail punches. Is it? Mm. See, I don't know much about the new DLC characters. Yeah, don't worry. You shouldn't. <laughs> That's fair. Did he? Yeah, okay. So, there is such a thing as justice in this world. <laughs> yo. Yo, Death. Yep. Ah, I forget. Uh, death. Shock? Ah, I forget what his name is. Whatever. I was just going to say good games or whatever. GG's. But whatever. So Tryon is actually still inside the uh, the tournament after getting after having the train run on him. I don't know what that's gonna do to your like mentality going forward, but uh, I don't know. I guess you take those. Oh hey, it's Bruce. There he is. Could you take those? Like, what? would you take that? Would yeah, you take it? One hundred percent. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. You have to. Hmm. I don't like considering also that I am bad at like. Most fighting games, if I get the chance to just take that, I'm like, mm -hmm, yeah, that's mine. Totally earned it. I'm out. <laughs> I'm like, I'm out. I'm running with that shit. Take the money and run. That's fair. It's not like it's like finals, right? It's no, it isn't. Whatever. Yeah, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so Psychotron. Up again. Say what? Up against Dev. Oh, right. I remember. This is the Ryu I was talking about. Oh, interesting. So he did this really sassy thing against Will, if, if I'm remembering correctly, where Will plays Fang, and he had the Poison Cloud up, and all he did was dash backwards and then did Heavy Punch. Oh. And Will just ran into it. Yeah, but Fang usually does. That's like what Fang does. Yeah. He like it, sort of sneaks into you. But it was like, it was weirdly disrespectful because it was like he went right up to it and then just moved back. It was like, bam. So that's, that's ex this is going to be a very different match than Fang Ryu. Right. Um, because these two seem like they kind of want to brawl it out. And mm. Ryu doesn't particularly want Balrog in his face. And he has tools to keep him out, but... That is going to be the major tool right there. Mm -hmm. On, uh, and he needs to know exactly when to use that DP to keep Balrog consistently guessing and trying to keep some safe stuff. Otherwise, you start seeing this stuff happening. Oh, Whoa. bad read. Hard block into hard damage into a harder stun. Is that it for you? Oh my god, he's fighting out. He's lucky he's he Balrog didn't have his B trigger out. Oh yeah. That would have been... Oh, it doesn't matter now. Got him. Got him. Got hands on. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Jumps in. Actually connects on that. Ooh. That was... That was kind of an interesting choice. Whenever someone's willing to throw an EXDP after, like, that sort of, like on block uh on that sort of like that on block move mm -hmm. you gotta now be questioning inside your head when else are they willing to throw that because that was a little bit wild yeah i noticed like with street fighter 5 maybe it's just me but like there's a lot more people jumping in a lot more often yeah it's it's an option that you kind of have to do which is like also weird because i think there's more like anti-airs in this game Double anti-air and it comes out fast and oh my god, just tucked right. the plasma. Because you're you're more used to like footsies in games like Street Fighter, but yeah. But with this game, it's a lot more. This is not this is not the footsie Street Fighter. <laughs> See that that was my mistake when I first started playing this yeah. game. Yeah. No, I don't worry. It's everyone's just like game because you're like, all right, I gotta respect my opponent, and then you're already wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you have to disrespect your opponent as much as possible. This game is a lot fizzy fizzy. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Tries to get the jump in that's, that's and. That's why uh, a lot of people don't like it. Oh yeah. Anyways, there's the grab. Now you're inside the corner. But uh, Balrog, not one to uh, be too worried about that. Just means that the opponent's going to be getting close to him. And oh, oh okay. Oh, nice time for the V reversal. There's the V trigger. Oh, oh yeah. Traded. Traded that out. I don't even know 
what he traded with. It might have just been Jab or something or other. Uh, uh, I think it was Medium. Medium? Okay. Because he was doing a Fierce. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. I feel like we're not really paying attention. Eh, no, no, don't worry about it. Commentary's continuing. This is not like... I don't know if this is top eight. I don't, I don't check brackets. All matches are important to me. Exactly. <laughs> Anyways, there's the high kick being uh, being ducked, allowing uh, Balrog to actually keep the pressure going on there. There we go. There's those projectiles. Oh, oh you go over the top, and it doesn't go punished. Eventually it does, but still. If Balrog had his uh, headbutt, he would have been able to punish that. Yep. Oh, my God. And he's getting thrown around. Hucked like a bag of potatoes. <laughs> Goes in and out. Good anti air. I don't know who, like, I would think the slower the pace, the better it is for Ryu. Mm. Um, because Boxer likes to have this, like, frantic thing where it's like, you feel like you have to press stuff, and then he just punishes it. You don't want, you don't want Balrog to get momentum, though. No. That's the thing. Because Balrog he gets with momentum, momentum is terrifying. Like, his entire V trigger is just all about that. Like, mm. suddenly I have momentum. And you're like, well, there what do is. I do? Oh, hey, there it is. Look at all that momentum. And then, like, how I can't hold all these momentum. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, tries. Oh, oh my god, oh. and then gets the grab. You overextended. Ooh. That's right. Boxer don't like grappler. That's nice. UFC terminology. Oh. Ooh. Surprised that I actually kind of traded out like that. There we go. Takes him out of the air. Oh, Ooh, that's, that's a you. crush. That's big damage. All the way. You in stun. Stun. Ooh, gives him the hard gut punch. Wasn't able to really do much else with that. No meter on deck. And starts starting to grab him. See, Balrog knows now he has to keep his distance. Yeah. Yeah, Balrog has full V trigger, oh. though, so you gotta oh. watch it. Because Balrog, any time, can be ready to go in. Oh, Ryu, got those electric hands. Oh, there it is. There One, two, three. Damn, that's some explosive damage. That's the thing, when he has his V trigger out, you have to be very, very cautious. You have to be incredibly cautious. It's it's essentially a like rage art from Tekken or something like that, where yeah. you're like, oh hey, he has this. I have to make sure I can bait it, or it's gone. It, it's uh, basically another super. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, nice grab. Oh yeah, and like and that was that's like the major thing that uh dev that, that, that Dev is doing this game. He's getting those grabs, and that damage is actually adding up. It's actually staying on par with uh, with Balrog right now. There we go. Ooh. Oh, double V reversal. He knew he had to get out of there, and that's exactly what he had to do. Oh, oh, oh no. Ain't that, but you can't you can't keep the boxer out. No, oh, there you go. <laughs> Last knock. See you later. Go back to Japan. Get some training. I must train harder. I must train harder. I am the world warrior. The answer lies in the heart of battle. Yeah, exactly. You know it'd be interesting if they have a Street Fighter where like Ryu Super is him turning into Eva Ryu. Wouldn't that be weird? That's what the uh, giving in to the Satsoi no Hado. Yeah. What this is? This is winners. Yeah. Okay. Don't 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 try that shit with me. I'm not what, good with that. What, what's going on? I don't know. The, he was trying to sign language some stuff with me, but I'm terrible at that. Anyway, stepping on some feet, getting a grab. Oh my oh. god, that's a punish. Oh oh my god, my boy. Oh nice. Uh, I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm keeping. I'm keeping focus. Inside, oh, I'm crying. What? What? He has a headbutt. Yeah, he oh. has a headbutt. I, I the, the, the up ahead one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He always had that. I, you just, you never see it. Because why oh. would he need to use it? Is it is it a, a V reversal? Yes. Oh, okay. That's, That's why. again why you would never see it. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like, why would I use V reversal? Oh, oh okay. Because you can't use it to, like, punish. Yeah. Yo, Abe, I realized it was Huarang on, like, the, uh, just the tutorial vid. <laughs> I'm sad now. Oh, good grab. Yep. Solid grab. Gets you the, uh, the corner presence. Tried to actually take him out of the air, but uh, oh, no punish nice. coming off there. And it's really seeing like these two players start to know each other to the point where grabs are like 
the mainstay for like damage. Mm -hmm. Up until like you know Balrog gets full full V trigger and then one move whiffs and he gets <laughs> in and does like half your HP and you're like oh, okay. Ooh. Cool. Ooh. What? Oh Shin wow. Hadouken. That was a good punish. Oh. Actually using the V trigger to actually allow him to get get the. Um, Sure, you can out and Good there is another. Oh nope! I thought he was like charging up to go down. I looked away for two seconds. Gotta focus. There we go. Tries to go for the jump in, and that's nice. definitely gonna be scouted by Segatron. There we go. Throw escape. Oh, there we are. Good and punish. this is this is the sort of mauling you don't want to see early on. <laughs> Gets in. What's happening? Oh, throw escape. This is the thing, and he's leveraging it, because he's yeah. like, hey, sure, tech my throws. You're still in the corner. And he knows that Ryu has to be careful with his shore use now, mm -hmm. because he's getting predictable. Oh, yeah. Especially without the uh, without the B trigger. Yeah, so he's getting predictable with the <laughs> Sudokins. <laughs> there. Like, 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 that's, no, that, that, that's, that's player curse. Commentator curse is where you say it, and then it happens. Yeah. Player curse is where you're like, oh, as a commentator, I know this thing. And then, like, screw you. I'm doing this. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We're, we're helping. We're helping. Yeah, helping. Exactly. All right. Ryu on oh. all the ball. Oh, my God. I was just about to be like, all right, we've hit neutral again, and I'm going to reassess the scenario. Nope. Uh, th this man came out like bad out of hell right there. See, Balrog plays on his own terms. He uh, legitimately does. He's like, I don't care what you commentators say. Yeah. I do what I want. This is my fight money. Exactly. He's gonna eat tonight, whether you want to or whether he wants to or not. <laughs> He's gonna eat tonight, whether he has God. money or not. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, that's 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 the Balrog thing. No, but that's that's one of my favorite like quotes from wrestling. They were doing. They had a WrestleMania in like Britain or something like that. Okay. And uh, 